Hello folks, welcome back to Path Bar School. My name is Neil Brown, and this is a new series we're calling Technique Thursday. In this series, I'm gonna take you through some more advanced techniques to take your cocktails from being good to great. Today we're looking at the classic cosmopolitan cocktail with its citrus vodka base, triple sec, cranberry juice and lime, but more importantly, the flair and showmanship needed to express the orange oils across the drink while flaming them at the same time. If you've watched any of our videos in the past, you know the first thing we're gonna do when we're making a cocktail is ice up our cocktail glass. We're gonna do that with some nice fresh crushed ice and then start to build our cocktail in our Boston tin. As ever, we're gonna start with the cheapest ingredient first. So I'm gonna add just 10 mils of lime juice. This makes up a split sour part of our recipe. 10 mils of lime juice, 15 mils of beautiful cranberry juice. That's gonna give a little bit of tartness and also a little bit of acidity to our cocktail. We're now gonna add the sweetener and I'm gonna add 20 mils of triple sec. And finally, last but certainly not least, beautiful Stolichnaya vodka. And this is a citrus vodka as is traditional with the Cosmopolitan. I'm gonna add 40 mils. That's every ingredient in this cocktail. I'm gonna shake it, double strain it, and get it into our glass. Now, although not invented at the famous Rainbow Rooms in New York City, it was popularized there after the MTV Awards show. It was popularized by a guy called Dale DeGroff, a very famous American bartender. And the reason for that was potentially to do with its beautiful flared garnish of citrus zest. Whenever you're making a cosmopolitan, you should always note the color. If you've done it right, it should be a beautiful light shade and hue of pink. Let's get to the most impressive part. We're gonna start by peeling just a little bit of citrus zest. We wanna make sure that we've got some nice thick pith on the underside. Once we've got that, we're gonna heat it up using a match and then snap it across the top of our drink. Letting the phosphor burn off our match and letting it take light we're just going to warm up the oils on the outside of our orange coin. Then as we've done that, and you can see them appearing across the top, we can just snap it across the top of the drink, dispose of our match, get rid of any other extraneous oils, deposit the zest, and that is the classic cosmopolitan. If you've done it right, you should know that there's no black marks of phosphor across the top of the drink and half the room should smell of beautiful caramelized orange oils. That's the Cosmopolitan. Thank you very much for joining me today for Technique Thursday. Yeah.